for the RV17 is the car that never was. It seemed fitting, and the, the fact that there's so much Formula One DNA in it to make it that missing car. It sits with some illustrious stable mates in the lineage of Rebel cars. RB17 has been labelled as uh, Adrian Newey's greatest hits. It's basically Adrian Unleashed. RB17 really is pushing the boundaries of everything we've learned into one car. We're drawing on the real glory years of Formula One. For me, a, a car at this level should also be a piece of art. It's a big step up from anything that's out there. It really is intended to be the last word in performance. The aerodynamic performance is significantly higher than anything you can see. It's not possible with Formula One to do this level of aerodynamic performance. This downforce to drag ratio puts it up into aircraft territory, which has never been achieved before in motor racing. It's going to be, I think, the most extreme track car of all time. So RB17 is the missing link in our lineage of, of phenomenal race cars. So uh, it was the, the car that, that never was. Um, so great to see it uh, you know, placed on such an incredible track car. The RB17 was really uh, giving Adrian the freedom to, uh, to put all the things that he wanted to in a vehicle that he, from all his 35 years of Formula One experience, um, you know, whether that was blown diffusers, double diffusers, uh, whatever, whatever he wanted to take from all of those years and, and put it into this ultimate track car, which uh, uh, has turned out to be a phenomenal, phenomenal machine. It's fair to say that this car sort of encapsulates Adrian's greatest hits. It uh, uh, takes some of his most innovative um, uh, sort of designs that he's incorporated into his cars over the year and years, and and that's encapsulated in in RB17. So um, so yeah, it's basically Adrian unleashed. This is giving Adrian the freedom of expression to go and create you know, his ultimate car. And of course, he's, he's a renowned designer. He's the most successful um, technical director in Formula One's history. Um, so, uh, and I think this project has been something of a, uh, a, a personal mission for him um, and something that means a great deal to him. It's going to be a unique car. It's going to be, um, I think, the most extreme track car of all time. Uh, I think it's going to raise the bar significantly. Um, and I think when it's unveiled, people will really, I think it will wow them with uh, how extreme it is. So um, it's a super cool project. It's very Red Bull. It's, it's Adrian's um, legacy to his time at Red Bull and uh, I think will be a key item in any collector's collection. RB17 really is, has been pushing the boundaries of everything we've learned, including what I've learned over my now longish career, into one car for, for the enjoyment of drivers that are just enthusiastic about being on track. Given my own sort of amateur driving, what would I want as an enthusiastic amateur out of this car? And then I've tried to put that thought and logic in. And we have now a large number of customers already signed and sealed. One of the reasons for limiting it to 50 cars, is that then we can use exactly the same manufacturing techniques, um, use in manufacture internally, or where we don't manufacture internally, use the same suppliers as we use in Formula One, and then indeed assemble the cars in exactly the same way as we assemble the Formula One cars. So the whole thing is, 
is very much Formula One working practices applied to something that's available for sale. I do hope that they'll view be viewed as pieces of art, but they should be also moving art, not just stationary art. So not just sitting in a museum, want to see them out there. If you like, the key, key numbers for the car are 1,000 horsepower from the V10, uh, 250 horsepower from the electric motor, so a combined output of around 1250. Uh, in its lightest form, 875 kilos, um, ready to go. Its downforce to drag ratio is kind of up around the 16, 17 mark, which in the low speed, which then puts it up into aircraft territory, which has never been achieved before in motor racing. The RB17, it's the ultimate in track only hypercars. It really is intended to be the last word in performance, taking lots of Formula One technology, lots of the toys that we've used in Formula One and enjoyed playing with over the last 30 years, um, taking all these toys and technology from the last 30 years and putting in, boiling them down into one ultimate track-only hypercar. When you look at the car without, of it, without its bodywork on, then you can see that the overall layout of the car is very Formula One-esque. And you start at the front with a nose impact structure, moving rearwards into the front suspension and steering, all of it very Formula One inspired. The RB17 with its V10 revving to 15,000 RPM is gonna sound absolutely fantastic. And I think the public are gonna, gonna absolutely love it. I mean, I remember when I started in Formula One, that was the kind of golden era when we had the V10 engines in the F1 cars. The RB17, it's Adrian Newey's vision of the ultimate hypercar. It's an absolute masterpiece. Mm -hmm.